as you can see she is actually uh, in the middle of molting now. She was lying on her back completely still for about seven hours and I was thinking oh god I hope she's going to be alright. I knew with older uh, and bigger tarantulas that they take a long time to molt but with what was on her ass you know it was like <laughs> Oh dear, I hope everything's going to be okay, but as you can see, I'm actually filming a time lapse of this here. So, yeah, I have everything piled up on boxes, so there you go. You're having a video of a video of a video. It's like Inception, isn't it? But, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, the next video you see will probably be of the time lapse, if all went well. It could be that my phone screwed it up and you might not see it, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, hi guys, as you can see she's doing really really well so far. It's just that abdomen I'm worried about. I really really hope she gets through this. Tarantula bird. That's my Ponopalma Simani. Well, we'll see how it goes. Hi guys. Very pleased to report that the molt of the Acanthoscuria geniculata went really, really well. Now, I don't know if you can see, but her abdomen still has a mark on it. Now, um, further things have come to light since she molted. And let's have a wander over here where the moth is. Now, firstly I'm pleased to report that she is a female. You can clearly see that in the video. If you look right here, you see those two little bobbles there. She's a female. But if you look at the inside of the malt, you see all this here? That's all bubbles. It's really, really hard and it's all bubbly. So I'm going to turn this over to show you what that looked like before. Now, I would safely say that uh, someone did say uh, on one of my earlier videos that she probably got burnt and I would tend to agree with that because this this is really hard and when I turn it back over again like I say you can see all these little bubbles in here and this is really hard as well and bobbly so I would say someone's probably had a heat lamp on her at some point in the past and it severely burnt her and that again is a reason why you don't have any heating elements near a tarantula because it causes this and as you can see it went right through her um, outer uh, layer and it went through underneath to her uh, new exoskeleton so I think it's going to take her a good couple of malts to repair herself after this so yeah it's such a shame, but um, she seems to be okay. So uh, I'm going to give it a few days, make sure that there's some water in there for her. There already is, but I'll spray the side of the uh, enclosure a little bit now. And uh, I'll uh, keep her an eye on her over the next few days and see how it goes. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later. This is the day after this little beauty's molt and as you can see a bit clearer now that there is still scarring on her abdomen. Um, I think it's going to take a couple of molts to get rid of that to be honest and uh, to become uh, back to proper health again. But she did really really well with her molt and uh, it took her several hours but uh, she's all good. So yeah, I think she's probably put on a couple of centimetres in size now. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll catch you later.